Microsoft, Sony, do we really need new systems? So there's been a lot of hype these days about the PS4 and the Xbox 720. They haven't even been permanently announced as of yet. And people are talking about it like wildfire. Rather, it's spreading like wildfire. And I'm hearing all this stuff about the controllers and the CPU of the entire system and the design of it. And there's just so much stuff that people are talking about, about these two systems. And quite honestly, they all sound amazing. It's always amazing to see a new system come out because it's just like innovation, new games. This is what puts my childhood to shame. But honestly, I'm thinking about this just for a second. I have a PS3, so right now I want to speak mostly for PlayStation. Do you need a PS4? Do you? Do you really need a PS4? I don't think so. And my reasoning for that is because the PS3 was made to last. Sony even said it themselves that the PS3 will be alive for years and years and years. And it can thrive, and it can survive in the video game marketplace. And that has been proven true. You know, aside from the fact that PSN got <coughs> hacked. <coughs> you know, <coughs> just saying. <coughs> but it is honestly the digital age. We've gotten to the age of video games where we just have them on discs that can hold so much space. PSP discs can hold so much space. Do we need more space on those discs? I don't believe so. And you can put entire amounts of content in there. So much content makes the games fantastic. Developers can use all of that to their usage and make perfect games with those. The number one game I could say as an example was God of War 3. They said they used up a lot of space on the discs and then they didn't even use all the space and they made it look so beautiful graphically and they made such a great storyline, such a great game out of that. So why do we need a PS4? There's only one answer. There is always room for improvement. Sometimes you gotta admit that, yeah, these games are going to be really crappy at times. And you're gonna have some problems with them. You're gonna have some bugs. Like, what are you supposed to do about that? And then they introduce patches. Patches that you download on the internet and you pretty much just patch up all the bugs and shit in your games and they fix the game itself. So if you have a game like Bayonetta and you hate the fucking slow ass loading screens for that game that just so happened to only be on the PS3 version, then guess what? The studio will make a patch and you won't have those long ass loading screens anymore. But you were too damn late, weren't you? Fuck you. Or you can be a game like Afro Samurai in which the camera is all messed up and inverted and you can't even move it around properly. I mean, who even uses the camera that way? A lot of people complained about that. I don't think there was a person out there who didn't complain about that. Yeah. There's no hope for you either. Just saying. So in the day and age when games suck balls and then with a patch or an update or even a D. LC. You can just download the content from the internet and automatically, oh boom, look, I can add on these two expansion packs to Grand Theft Auto and guess what? I got two extra games. So in the day and age when a video game can be fixed just with a patch and some DLC, why do we need a new system exactly? Well, it's pretty simple actually. To get more money. Even if Sony did say that their system was going to last a long time, which it did really last a while. I mean, look at the PS2. The PS2 was, I believe, the longest lasting system ever. No, but honestly, these systems can sustain themselves, especially with the internet integrated into it. It's solid, man. It's really solid nowadays with video games. And some of you might be asking, well, if you feel this way about the PS4 and the Xbox 720, why didn't you feel this way about the Wii U? One simple answer to that, because the Wii didn't have HD and in this day and age, that is sad. So it's really good that the Wii U came out because it was innovative and it did something. It is still being innovative and it's still doing something and it's fun, easy to play with and I mean that gamepad, I mean have you played with that lately? It's fucking awesome. And I have been hearing some things about the PS4 having some sort of touch pad thing in the middle and get rid of the select start in the home button or whatever. And something about it being like two controllers, like you can split it apart or 
something, I don't know, some stupid shit like that. And as for the Xbox 720, I haven't heard as much yet, but I do hear they're planning on releasing something this year, maybe around E3, maybe sometime later. I don't know, people have been just saying these systems are going to come out later on this year in the fall, or maybe even, I've been hearing some, something about the summer, and that's really weird to me. But it has been confirmed that Sony is going to announce something. But nobody knows exactly what it is yet. It's kind of obscure, and they made like a little trailer for it. And it's like, oh my god, look, floating fucking, oh my god, it's like the X in the circle and the triangle. And is that the square? That's the square. That's awesome. That's cool. And it's just floating. And it's like 3D, so it's like coming at you in 3D. It's fucking awesome. But nobody knows exactly what it is just yet. And there's something about this month, and it's coming up soon, so hopefully it is a new system. I would expect it to be. And yes, I gladly accept new systems. I wouldn't push away a PS4 and be like, nope, playing PS3. You know, PS4 is gonna become too mainstream. I'm just saying. And you know how I hate things that are too mainstream. So bring it on, bring on the announcement, tell me what's going on. And as for Microsoft, if you got something up your sleeve, you better come up with it right now because I don't know what Sony got up their sleeve. Maybe you trying to get an edge on them and be like, oh, well, you got a touch screen on a controller. That's funny, young bull. Well, guess what? We got connect on the controller. What, what? Sorry, the inner depths of my black man was just coming out and I got to seal him back inside. So what do you think about the PS4 and Xbox 720? Just tell me in the comment section down below. And also, please don't forget to thumbs up and also subscribe. So that's enough me ranting. This is me, Next Level Otaku, saying stay gold and I'll see you guys later.